Bowman here from BW1.com and save the date, March 14th, Galaxy S4, what's it gonna have? The date is set, March 14th, 2013 in New York City, Samsung will unveil the next Galaxy phone in their lineup. Um, they're calling it the Samsung Unpacked event, episode one. Um, Samsung Unpacked 2013, episode one. Hopefully it got that cleared by Lucasfilms, or rather Disney. But um, we're gonna be seeing the next Galaxy phone coming out. Judging by the flyer, most likely it's gonna be called the Galaxy S4. We're gonna be covering the event live, so be sure to um, subscribe here to bw1.com and check out our main website for more news on March 14th when the event happens. So right now, it's time to guess what's gonna come in the Galaxy S4, and I have my thoughts on what's gonna be coming with it. First, new hardware design. They've been using the Galaxy S3 and pretty much all the Galaxy line of phones. It's pretty much what their other devices are gonna look like. If you look at the Galaxy S3, the Galaxy Note 2, and the Galaxy Note 8.0, they just got announced. They all share a very similar style and look to it. So I expect Samsung to shake it up a little bit and pretty much premiere a new design and pretty much going forward what a lot of their products are gonna be looking like from the mobile landscape. Now, is it gonna go from all plastic to all aluminum? I highly doubt that. It's probably gonna be mostly plastic design with maybe some aluminum in there if they can keep it as light and thin as they had with the Galaxy S3. If not, it was pretty successful with them before with the all plastic design. I know a lot of people weren't happy with that, but it's probably gonna be the case this time around too. Next, five inch full 1080p display. The display will hit that five inch mark, will be full 1080p. Not sure if it's gonna be AMOLED technology for the display or some other type of display technology, but you can expect that they're gonna make it five inches edge to edge and they're gonna get that bezel just thin enough to almost where it looks like you're just holding a screen in their hand, even thinner than they got with the Galaxy S3. So expect the five inch display. Next, as far as internals are concerned, I actually expect to see a quad-core processor inside of it and um, not the octa-core processor that they've been talking about, the eight-core processor, Exynos 5. I don't think that's ready for prime time just yet. And also, I don't think the mobile industry, and as far as smartphones are concerned, it really doesn't need that just yet. I expect to see those in late 2013, 2014. I actually expect them seeing more in sort of tablets and hybrid computers sort of going with that first before we see it in smartphones. But I also, I also expect that it's going to be the Snapdragon 600 processor, which you see inside the HTC uh, One. Reason for that, I don't see them using their older quad core processor, the Exynos 4 Quad, which was in last year's international version of Samsung Galaxy S3, and also was in the Gal Galaxy Note 2. I don't see them using an older processor for their flagship phone. So I see them using the Snapdragon 600, was successful for them last year, using Snapdragon in the US, so I expect to see them doing that again here. Two, gig two gigabytes of RAM, standard, that's gonna be no brainer there, that's definitely happening. And uh, maybe the processor might be clocked at 1.9 or maybe even two gigahertz as far as the clock speed's concerned there. Next thing is gonna be a new awesome camera. I fully expect them to have some type of camera technology like you have with HTC and their Ultra Pixels, Nokia and their PureView. I fully expect them to do something with the camera that's gonna be different. There might not even be any mention of megapixels at all with this because that race is kind of dying out and it's really about getting those optics premium nice crisp quality because a lot of people's phones are their primary camera so if, if they do announce megapixels it's going to be either 8 or 13 but other than that this is really going to be focused on the optics i see in the next galaxy s4 phone as far as the camera is concerned other things that i think they're going to be keeping around the removable battery very very popular feature i see bumping up to 3200 megahertz possibly I also see 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte storage options built in. Makes sense. Gives them three different um, storage options. Gives three different carriers. Gives carriers three different phones to kind of offer out there, and three different pricing ranges. So I see that. Also, my micro SD card slot not only supports 64 gigabytes, but I expect it to be up to 128 gigabyte cards when those are finally released out. If anybody dares to buy one of those, I expect the Galaxy S4 to support that. All right, now the last thing is really on the software. I fully expect them to release TouchWiz 2.0. It's gonna be based on Android 4.2 Jelly Bean, and they're gonna be really uh, pushing more of the motion controls. They're gonna be enhancing a lot of the features they had in previous um, TouchWiz um, with the Galaxy S3, which has turned out to be a very success and the differentiating factor between a lot of the other phones because everybody on the sort of top tier line of things is gonna have pretty much the same hardware. They did last year, and it's probably gonna be the same this year as far as core internal hardware specs. It's really the software and user experience that makes a difference. Samsung has kind of figured that out. And I can see them doing that again with TouchWiz, making it better, more refined, less cartoonish of a look, a lot more sleeker, a lot more of sort of a pro look to it. 
still consumer friendly, but just not, not as cartoonish as before. I see them maybe even taking advantage of the front facing camera, which I expect to be a wide angle front facing camera. And um, using that to do some of those sort of touchless gestures that I've been sort of hearing about, I see them maybe taking advantage of doing that. We have something similar in the motion control to the Galaxy Note where you could kind of hover over the device it would kind of pop up and give you some quick information about the phone, such as, you know, missed emails and text messages and stuff like that. So I expect to see that inside of there as well, too. So those are my thoughts on the Galaxy S4, and, and, and that, that's what we're going to see here. I expect it to be on all carriers, one phone for all, as they did with the Galaxy S3. Definitely going to be here with the Galaxy S4 in the same way. So share your thoughts on what you think of the Galaxy S4 and what's going to be coming out of this event. You can post your comments below here on our YouTube channel. You can also check out that I've written a little bit more and gotten a little more detail about what I think the Galaxy S4 is going to be at BW1.com. The link to that is in the description there. So check that out, read that, post your comments, share along as you want to as well over there. Be sure to like and share this video if you really like this content here. Also, subscribe to our YouTube page as I've said. Can connect with us on all our social networks. They're all in the link in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.